Thank you, you too. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Educators, Performers, Creators. This is the series Mini Lessons with Verbling Teachers, and I have four wonderful teachers with me today. Before we go there, let me give you some ideas how to connect with us today. If you're watching live, you might see this icon on top that will give you a link to the profiles to the teachers that are presenting today. So click on that icon that is for nine little squares. You can also, and you can see the showcase and visit the profiles of the teachers who are presenting today. But you also you can click on the Q&A app to ask a question right now if you're watching live and we might answer it. If you are watching us from YouTube and you don't see those icons, you can you will see a link at the bottom left. In Spanish it says, Cynthia, Únete a la conversación, creo. In oh. English it says, Be part of the conversation. And in Chinese it says, Yes. So be part of the conversation and ask questions. Ask questions of these wonderful teachers and we might answer it live. I want to give a shout out to some people who have been active on the event. Let's say hello or hola to Fernanda. Nice to have you here. We also have Anastasia or Anastasia, who says she's studying English and sometimes she studies Spanish. Great. Hola a Marcelo Lopez, who studies English. Hola, hola. And hello to Lais, who is currently studying Spanish and French. Great. So we are going to say hello to our teachers today. Hello, teacher Dominic. Hi, it's great to be here. Hello, teacher Cynthia. Hello, it's good to be here. Hello, Paulina. Hello, teacher Yutong. Hi, ni hao. I hope we have a good time today. Excellent. And hello, teacher Ismael. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm very glad to be here. And good morning, good afternoon, or good night. I don't know. <laughs> My name <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name is Ismael, I'm 35, and I used to begin my classes with this sentence, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, because one of the most amazing things of Berlin for me is that allows you to teach uh, from your home to over the world. So now we are going to make a, a mini lesson called Como Estas? How are you? Como Estas? Okay? We are ready for that? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, how are you guys? How are you? Good. And you? Good. Good. Okay. In Spanish, <laughs> for say that, you can say bien, gracias. Okay. You bien, can... gracias. We are going to try it. Bien. Okay. Bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás? We answer bien, gracias. Gracias. Okay. Yeah, we are going to learn in five minutes eight words or eight structures. Do you think it's too much? No. Maybe. <laughs> no. I need you get a pen and a paper. You have a pen and a, and a paper? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And we are going to play a little game. Called, yeah, ¿cómo estás? Is, um... Welcome to another edition of Educators, Performers, Creators. This is the series Mini Lessons with Berlin Teachers. And I have four wonderful teachers with me today. Before we go to yeah. the YouTube on, just a second. Some idea okay. how to connect with us today. If you're watching live, you might see this icon. Just on a second. I'm, I'm hearing the. Okay. I didn't hear you. Now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, we have two words uh, to say, uh, ¿Cómo estás? Uh, and to answer this question. In Spanish, you can say, ¿Estoy o tengo? You can see the slide. Okay. ¿Estoy yeah. o tengo? When you say in, in English, like, I'm fine, you can say the, the verb is only to be. 
in Spanish is estar o tener. The, the verb estoy is with an adjective and tener with a substantive, okay? This is important because uh, the Spanish people when talk, when speaks in English, they usually uh, makes this mistake because we have two mm -hmm. verbs to say that. Okay, we're gonna try with the next slide. Uh, here, okay. We have this slide. This is a, a face. I, I made this uh, picture. Do you like this picture? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you say this in English? Is it how is this feeling? Happy. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Spanish is contento. Feliz. You can say feliz also. So when someone is happy, someone says estoy feliz. You can say estoy feliz. Estoy feliz. Estoy feliz. Okay, write the word in your paper now. Write the word because you have to say okay later. So the next slide is Estoy triste. The face now is sad, and you say the, the same verb, estoy, because is an adjective. Triste is an adjective, so you say estoy triste. Estoy. Now repeat, estoy triste. You, estoy you triste. Estoy triste. Perfect, Dominic, your, your spelling is very well. <laughs> estoy triste. Muy bien. Estoy triste. Aquí, what we see is uh, someone that is um, angry. Yeah. Estoy enfadado is an adjective, <laughs> so enfadado. Write, write in your papers, enfadado, <laughs> enfadado. Enfadado. Okay. And I want to see your faces <clears throat> doing this face, enfadado. You don't? Perfect. Cynthia, muy enfadada. <laughs> okay, we are we are gonna try with feliz. We are we feliz. Okay, I want to see your faces. Feliz, happy. Estoy feliz. And I want to see your faces. Triste. Triste. Okay, perfect. Next slide. Tenemos feliz, triste, and this, I, I love this picture. I love these eyes. Okay, this is, estoy enamorado. Estoy enamorado. I'm in love, okay? You see, it's the same verb for all the moods, okay? It's the verbo estar. Estoy enamorado. You can say that? Estoy enamorado. Perfecto, you don't. A ver, Dominique. Estoy enamor enamorado. Perfect. And Cynthia? Cynthia? Estoy enamorado. Uy, muy mal, Cynthia. Muy mal tu español. Your Spanish is very bad. She's a Spanish teacher also. Okay, estoy enamorado. Perfecto. So, make the this face, like, in love. I want to see the faces of you in love. In love? Like oh. that? Yeah, like that. With eyes. <laughs> okay. Now it's tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. In, uh, in English is also I am. I am hungry. But now in Spanish we change the verb. This is the difficult of the Spanish. We have two verbs. You have to say tengo. No estoy hambre, sino tengo hambre. You have to say tengo hambre. I'm hungry. You, you can say, tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Dominique. Tengo hambre. Perfecto. Y Cynthia. Tengo hambre. Okay. What happens with this picture? Tengo, tengo, tengo sed. Is he's thirsty. Thirsty. Okay. Tengo sed. 
The pronunciation is sed. Can you try? Tengo sed. How you say that, Cynthia? Tengo sed. Sed. Muy bien. Dominique? Tengo sed. Tengo sed. And your tongue? Tengo sed. Your tongue is Spanish now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. Okay. So, with hambre y with sed, it's not estoy, it's tengo. Tengo. Okay? Now, we're going to try two more words and we're going to play. Okay? This is I'm cold. In English, I am. But in Spanish, tengo. Tengo. No estoy. Tengo. Tengo frío. We're going to try. Tengo frío. You talk? Tengo frío. Tengo frío. And you can make that. <laughs> Perfecto. Dominique. Tengo frío. Tengo frío. Y Cintia. Tengo frío. ¿Tienes frío, Cintia? Sí. ¿Sí? No. <laughs> ok. Vamos a mirar. Tengo calor. En Barcelona, where I'm from, it's very hot. And now I'm hot. Tengo calor. Tengo mucho calor. No frío. Tengo calor. Calor. Vamos a probar, Dominique. Tengo calor. Muy bien, you talk. Tengo calor. Y Cintia. Tengo calor. Ok. What's the game now? Now we are going to play. You have written the words in your papers. Have you written your, the words in your papers? You talk? Some of them. I forgot <laughs> to write. Ok. You are going to lose. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> So, now one of you are going to tell the word with the verb, the word what you want, okay? And all of, all of us have to make the feeling or the mood, okay? Um, I'm going to put an example. If I say, tengo calor, all of you have to, what have to do? <sighs> okay? Okay. But at the same time, at the same time, without reading the paper, okay? I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. For example, estoy triste. Bien. Cynthia, your turn. Tengo Por frío. Tengo, Tengo frío. frío. Ay, tenía no. que ser primero. Ya. Yeah. Bueno, bien, bien, bien. Dominic, who is the uh, the first one wins? Dominic, you say one word. Estoy enamorado. Muy bien, you talk. You talk. Enamorado, sí. Hace, mm, mm, enamorado. Bien, 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 bien. Me gusta, me gusta. You talk, your turn, tu turno. Estoy feliz. Oh, Dominique, very quickly. Muy bien, Dominique. Dominique, una más. Venga, vamos a probar un par más. Cintia, tu turno. Your turn. One more. Eh, esto... Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Hungry. Hambre. Uh... Dominique. <laughs> Tengo hambre. Very different in English. Yeah, very different because the verb changes a lot. Okay, and Paulino, the last one for you. Paulino? Estoy feliz. Feliz. Perfecto. Okay. Perfecto. Okay. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, teacher Ismael. Yay. <laughs> gracias. Thank you very much. And remember to check the showcase app and visit teacher Ismael profile to learn more about him. We're going to move on now to Chinese. Whoa. Chan, chan, chan. <laughs> teacher Yutan, please tell us a little more about yourself. Okay, so my name is Yu Tong Chen. So Yu in 
Chinese means rain and Tong means child. So I was born in a rainy day. So I'm from China, uh, but now I'm living in the States in New York City. I've been teaching Chinese for more than three years in different countries. Uh, for example, Germany, Ukraine, and the States, mostly for adults. So today we're going to learn about some famous people, where they're from and what language they speak. Okay? So, uh, do you know these people? So the way to ask where someone is from, you say, Ta shi na ren. So ta means he or she in Chinese. Yeah, it's the same. He and she are both ta. It, that tone mark means it's first tone. Uh, mm -hmm. Shi means is. Yes, shi means is. Nar, nar means where. Where? Shi na ren. Ren means person. Da shi na ren. Da shi na ren. Da shi na ren. Very good. So I want to hear you one by one. So how about Cynthia? Can you say that? Da shi na ren. Very good, Hen Hao. And then Ismail. Da shi na ren. Very good. And Dominic. Da shi na ren. Very good, Hen Hao. <laughs> Very good. So we go to the next one. So do you know Ta shi na ren? Do you guys know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somewhere in. Yeah. Somewhere in Asia. Yeah, 没错, correct. So, ta shi zhongguo ren. Zhongguo means China. Zhongguo. So, uh, zhongguo. So, guo means country. Zhong means in the middle, middle or center. The reason why China is zhongguo is because, you know, ancient Chinese think they're in the center of the world. So, they call themselves the center country. So, Zhongguo, can you say that, everyone? Zhongguo. 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 And then, to say he is a Chinese, you would say, Ren means person, right? So, you just add the Ren after Zhongguo. So, Zhongguo Ren. Zhongguo Ren. Zhongguo Ren. Yes. So Bruce Lee is a Chinese and then, uh, yes, so can you say that Bruce Lee is a Chinese Bruce Lee is his name. Bruce Lee is a Chinese Bruce Lee is a Chinese Very good. So, uh, so the language he speaks is uh, Zhong Wen. Wen means language, okay? Zhong Wen. So, Shuo, Shuo means to speak. So, if you want to say he speaks Chinese, you would say Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Can you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Very good, Hen Hao. Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Ta Shuo Zhong Wen. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, you guys are doing Hen Hao. Very good. <laughs> Let's try this one. Ta Shi Na Ren. Do you know? Ta Shi Na Ren. Yeah, Ta Shi Mei Guo Ren. Ta Shi Mei Guo Ren. She may go on in. Yes. She may go on in. Yes, may go on in. May go on is USA, right? May go on in. May go on in. So you see the go on in. Yes, so you see the go on in. May go on in. Yes. So may means beautiful. So it's not that Chinese people are calling the US a beautiful country. It's may. It's from the... um. From the sound of America, from the America, yes. So, uh, Obama is a American, and he said English. is English. English is English. Okay? Can you say that? He said English. 
Yes. So, so with Kim Yutong, who do you want to repeat first? Uh, okay, and who would you like you who would you like you to repeat after you first? Cynthia, uh, Ismael or Dominic? Cynthia. Can you say Tashua Ying Wen? Tasha Ying Well. Ying Wen. Tasha Ying Wen. Hen Hao. Hen Hao. And then Ismail. Tasha Ying Wen. Hen Hao. Very good. Hen Hao. Hen Hao. And Dominic. Tashua Ying Wen. Tashua Ying Wen. Yes. Dominic. Shua Yingwen, correct? Shua Yingwen. You speak Yingwen, right? Yingwen. <laughs> Yingwen is English. English, okay. It's not, yes? British, not British English, just English. <laughs> yeah, you okay. Yingwen, Yingwen means English in general. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> good, good. Okay, so this is... Uh, do you know him? Yeah, Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Nigua, Nigua yeah. Putin. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> no, no. Putin is not Mei国人. <laughs> Putin is Mei国人. Mei国人. Mei国 is Russia. Mei国人. Yes, very good. So, uh, Cynthia. Let's try to say he is Russian. So, uh, 他是俄国人. 他是俄国人. 很好, 很好. And Ismail. 他是俄国人. 他是俄国人. 很好. And Dominic. 他是俄国人. 他是俄国人. Very good, 很好. <laughs> Ah, and then, do you know him? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I don't like I him. don't. Who is he? <laughs> oh he's, from, he's from where Polino is from, right? Um, so, uh, uh, Messi is from Argentine. 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 Obviously. That sound is from the sound of the Spanish. Argentine, yes. Argentine. Yes. Argentine. Very good. So, Messi. Argentine Ren. Cynthia, can you say that? Messi, Argentine Ren. Very good, very good. And the Messi, Argentine Ren. Very good, very good. And Dominic. <laughs> Messi Argentinian. Very good. Very good. And then he speaks. He speaks. Spanish. Spanish. What guess what that means? Spanish. Yes. Yeah. Spanish means Spanish. So you will say. He says Spanish. Can you say that? He says Spanish. Isma. Very good. Okay, so we can go to the next one. So, do you know him? Yes. He's English. Yes, he's from where it looks like Dominic. More or less. Yeah. So, Dominic, this one you got to learn. So, uh, uh, David is Can you say that, Dominic? Yingguoren. Yingguoren. Yes, and then you say you are from Yinguo, right, Dominic? Yingguoren. Yes, so you can say 我是英国人. Can you say that? 我是英国人. Very good, you just say I'm from the Britain. Very good. <laughs> so, um, uh, Ismail. 你是哪人? Where are you from? 你是哪人? Can you tell me? Me? Yes. Me or David Beckham? You. <laughs> um, you can say in English and then... Yeah, I'm from Barcelona. Oh, so you're from Spain? Yeah. So, 
uh, Spain is 西班牙, so you can say 我是西班牙人. 我是西班牙人. Very good, 很好, 很好. And, 很好, and Cynthia, 你是哪人? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Chile, I, I don't know how to say I'm, Yeah, I'm I, gonna tell you. I, so Chile is 我是智利人, 智利. 我是智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利人智利
Pepito. Pepito está arriba. A ver, Ismael, Pepito está abajo. Pepito está abajo. Muy bien, Pepito está muy contento. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Entonces ahora, muy bien, Pepito. Ahora sí, next one, please. La siguiente, por favor. La siguiente. Eso. Entonces, yo estoy, es I am, ¿correcto? Yo estoy. I am. A ver. Yo estoy. Yo estoy. Israel, yo estoy. A ver, Domini, tú estás. Tú estás. Muy bien. Muy bien. A ver, Yuton, él, ella está, ella está. Él ya está. Muy bien. Usted está. Muy bien. Estamos. Muy bien, gracias. Entonces, ahora, repitamos. Arriba. 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 Let me see your hands. Arriba. Abajo. 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 Arriba. 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 Abajo. Abajo. Arriba. Abajo. Arriba. Ejercicios. Muy bien. Tengo calor. Tengo calor. Tengo calor. Muy bien. Entonces, muy bien. Veamos con Pepito. Entonces ahora otro. Al lado. Next to. Al lado. Next to. Al lado. Okay, Pepito. Aquí está Pepito. Next to, ¿ok? Next to, al lado. Al ok. Lado. Entonces, vamos a ver. ¿Dónde está el dormitorio? Por favor, Ismael, ¿dónde está el dormitorio? El dormitorio está arriba. El dormitorio está arriba. Muy bien. Tan bien que le está. Muy bien, Israel. A ver, Dominique, el dormitorio está... ¿Dónde está? Arriba, abajo, abajo, al lado. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está el dormitorio? Uh, Arriba, abajo, al lado. Al lado. Al lado. Muy bien. Muy bien, Pepito está feliz. Muy bien. Saluden a Pepito. Muy bien. Pepito está feliz. Pepito is so happy to be here. Ok, muy bien. John Tom, ¿dónde está el baño? El baño está... ¿Dónde está el baño? El baño está arriba, abajo... Al lado, ¿dónde está? Um, a, arriba. Arriba, muy bien, el baño está arriba, muy bien. Arriba. Muy bien. Arriba. Ay, muy okay. bien. Arriba. Arriba. Arriba, escúchame, Yuton, arriba. Uh, arriba. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Y tenemos otra, arriba, ah, abajo, abajo, arriba, abajo, muy bien, al lado, al lado. Abajo, y al centro, al centro, centro al centro, al centro, al centro, al centro. Arriba, vamos todos, arriba, arriba. las manitos, abajo, abajo, muy bien, al centro. Al, al centro. Al centro, centro, muy bien. A ver, Dominique, al centro. Al, al centro. centro. Muy centro. bien, le salió español, muy bien. <ríe> muy bien, entonces, Dominique, ¿dónde está...? El, ¿Dónde está eh, la entrada número 5, number 5? ¿Where is the entrance? ¿Dónde está la entrada? Ah, al centro. Al centro, muy al centro. bien. Pepito está feliz, muy bien. A ver, Ismael, ¿dónde está la, la, sala, la sala de estar? ¿Where is number 4, la sala de estar? ¿Dónde está? Al, al lado. Muy bien. 
Muy Anda, bien, Ismael. No. Le, le, le sale perfecto, muy bien. Y, <risa> y Yutong, ¿dónde está? La cocina, number six, where is the kitchen? La cocina, ¿dónde está? Number six. Al lado. Al lado, al lado. Al lado. Okay. Al lado. Muy bien, Yutong, muy bien. Thank you. Gracias, y Gracias. con eso estamos. A ver, la última vez, ¿ok? Última vez. Arriba. 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 arriba, 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 arriba. Abajo. 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 Bajen, bajen, bajen. Eso es. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al lado. Al lado. Al lado. Al lado. Muy bien. Muy bien. Ready from Chile. Saludos from Chile. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Gracias. Gracias, Paulino. Gracias. Chao, adiós, Pepito. Adiós, 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 Pepito. Adiós, Pepito. Adiós. Muy bien, muchas gracias, teacher Cynthia. Muchas gracias. Remember everyone to find on the showcase the link to teacher Cynthia's profile to learn more about her. And now, last but not least, we're going to go to <clears throat> teacher Dominic. Was that good? That's good. It's good pronunciation, yes. Thank you. Good. Hi, I'm uh, Teacher Dominic. I'm from Italy, but uh, I'm British English. I've been in um, Italy for 10 years now, and I'm a new teacher on uh, Verbling. But uh, I uh, have a lot of experience teaching all types of uh, people, from children to businesses. Today we're going to look at an interesting topic. Every year we go on holiday and unfortunately every year sometimes we get sick or we have an accident and we have an injury. So let's take a look at some expressions where I can help you learn to describe your situation to a doctor or a friend. Here are some expressions to describe your medical condition to a doctor or friend when you need to. Let's take a look at the first slide. So here I am after a very big Italian dinner and I ate so much pasta. <laughs> and after I ate Is so much you? pasta, I feel bloated. This is me. Is <laughs> that you really? This is me, yes. No <laughs> copyright. So okay. <laughs> Thank you. So this is me after I ate so much pasta. And I ate too much pasta. I feel bloated. So Cynthia, can you try this expression? I feel bloated. I feel bloated. Bloated. Good. Bloated, yes. Bloated is when you have too much food inside your stomach. Bloated. Okay, bloated. great. Ismail, can you try this? I feel bloated. I feel bloated. I feel okay. bloated. Good, bloated. 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 Okay, bloated. good, good. Okay, and um, let's try Yutong. Yutong, can you try this? I feel bloated. I feel bloated. Excellent, good, good. Let's move on. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So, this is me again, but I'm not in the bathroom, okay, I'm in the studio, and I ate some spicy curry. I went to a, a restaurant, I had some spicy curry, and I went to um, my house, and I have got diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> diarrhea is when you eat something very spicy and you have to visit the bathroom. Okay. Can you try that? You tell me. Okay. I have you got too. diarrhea. Good. Okay. I have got diarrhea. Have Ismail, got can diarrhea. you try that? I have got diarrhea. I have got diarrhea. Good. Okay. Well, not so good. But uh, no. Cynthia, can you try this? I've got diarrhea. I have got diarrhea. Good, okay, well done. Let's move on to the next slide here, and here I am again, and uh, I'm uh, feeling dizzy. Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Everything is spinning around me. Now, this happens sometimes when it's a hot day and you don't drink enough uh, water, okay, or maybe 
when uh, you are feeling really tired after a long day. So, can you try this, uh, Ismail? Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Good, okay. <laughs> Yutong, can you try this? Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Help, I'm feeling dizzy. <laughs> Good. Okay. Good acting. So, Cynthia, can you try this? Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Help, I'm feeling dizzy. Great. Okay. Good. Good. Let's move along to the next slide. So, this is me again. Too much English <laughs> homework. Okay. Or maybe too much Chinese homework or Spanish homework. And after all this homework, I have a headache. My head hurts. Okay. So let's try this. Yutong. Oh no, I have a headache. Oh no, I have a headache. Excellent. Good. Okay. And Ismail, let's try with you. Oh no, I have a headache. Oh no, I have a headache. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Good. Cynthia, let's try with you. So, oh no, oh, I have a headache. Oh no, I have a headache. Good. Well yeah. done. Let's move across to the next slide. Okay. PowerPoint presentations, well, they really make me tired. And after all these PowerPoint presentations, I'm exhausted. So can you try this, Cynthia? I'm exhausted. Mm, I'm exhausted. Good. Okay. <laughs> Ismail, let's try this. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Excellent. Good. <laughs> you look exhausted. <laughs> okay. Good. And you, Tong, let's try this with you. I'm exhausted. Oh, I am exhausted. <laughs> okay, that's great. Well done. Let's take a look at the, the next slide. Okay, so with, uh, with me sometimes uh, when I talk a lot, I have a sore throat. Let's try this. Ouch, I have a sore throat. Yutong, let's try that. Ouch, I have a sore throat. Ouch, I have a sore throat. Okay, good. Yeah. And let's try with uh, Cynthia. Cynthia, ouch, okay. I have a sore throat. Ouch, I have a sore throat. Good, okay. And Ismail, let's try with you. Ouch, I have a sore throat. Ouch, I have a sore throat. <laughs> Excellent, good pronunciation, well done. Let's move to the next slide now. So here we can see that uh, it's a bad day in the city and there's some bad pollution. That's when you have lots of smoke and things that make the air dirty or unclean. And here I have got a cough and you can see the pronunciation there because it's a difficult word in English. So that K-O-F is the pronunciation. I have got a cough. Let's try that, Yutong. I have got a cough. I have got a cough. Good. Okay. Ismail, I have got a cough. I have got a cough. Good, okay, and Cynthia, good? Cynthia, let's try with you. I have a good cough. You have a cough, okay, good. Well done, let's move across to the next slide. Thanks for watching. Keep calm and stay safe, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank, Thank you very much, Dominique. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Great, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Teacher Dominic, and thank you to all our teachers today. Remember to visit their profiles to learn more about them. And I hope to see you guys, teachers, and everyone watching in the future. That was all for today. Thank you for your mini lessons. Hasta pronto. See you later. Thank you. Adios. 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 Adios.